Hey guys, how's it going? Josh Spoon here, Ableton Certified Trainer and Operator of this YouTube channel and page, The Producer's Kitchen. And I'm here with a quick tip on using key mapping. So key mapping is a way for you, let's say for example, like right now I'm not home, I don't have a keyboard on me, to be able to map certain things inside of Live and be able to toggle them on and off since you're using keys on the keyboard on your computer and also be able to automate stuff very easily using an on and off state of toggling. Uh, so let's check this out. A uh, quick example I'm going to do is changing the tempo with key mapping. So I have a song here uh, that I made. I do micro beats about three times a week on my Josh Spoon Instagram. I usually use Isotonic Studios visuals. I make a track and then I put visuals to it and Instagram gives you a minute so I make about a minute long song just for a nice exercise. This is one of them. The song is at 88 beats per minute. It's at repitch to get a nice, cool, pitchy sound when we change the tempo. And to key map, all I need to do is press this key button here, or I can press Command K. And everything you see here that is orange is mappable. So since these are keys, I can either go on or off state. There's no in between, but it's very great for things like halving the speed. So what I'm going to do is click on the tempo right here and I'm going to press the number one. You can see one pops up there. Then I'm going to open up the browser and the browser is now a key mapping area and it tells me what I just did. I mapped key one and it's going to the master track, the song tempo, and I could set a min max here. So let's go with the maximum first. My song is at 88 and if you've passed, I think the first grade, second grade, you'll know that half that is 44. So type in 44 and enter. And then I can press Command K or Escape to get out of there. I'm going to close the browser. And now I can press 1 and it'll jump from 44 to 88. On top of that, uh, I can easily automate the tempo of my song when I track it out if I want to. And I don't have to draw it in. So I can do it real time. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have the automation arm on. This is usually on just because for safety, if I'm recording something to do MIDI overdub. And I'll just hit record to get ready to record. Make sure it's at the 1.1.1. Then just press enter. I have a two bar count in. Go back to 88. Recording normal speed, then I'm going to hit one. Uh, slim, Thug, Houston, Syrup. I used to live in Texas, so that's, you know, kind of most of the stuff I had to listen to half the 90s into the 2000s. Uh, so yeah, really simple. Press it again, back in. If I go to the arrangement, you'll see it's right here, the automation. And the reason it's doing that pitching, if you remember, because it's on repitch. So it'll slow down or speed up, depending on the tempo. Hopefully that was helpful to you, uh, learning about key mapping, and also if maybe you knew about key mapping but didn't really think about uh, being able to half the tempo real easily. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things we learn all throughout our journey in Ableton Live. And I hope you stay with me in the producer's kitchen learning more and more. Leave a comment, please, if you liked it. If you have any questions, uh, anything you'd like to see, subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.